So we've been asking you to send in your design questions since many of us are at home spending more time than ever just like staring at the walls and noticing some things that may need fixing or things that maybe don't need fixing, but we're really bored and we just want to change it. So we're here to help from Homes Next Generation. Sherry Holmes is joining us this morning with your little one, I understand. Oh my gosh. I am. She's so Say cute. Hi. Did Thank she just you turn so one, Sherry? She did. She turned Aww. one in April. How's and, it going? Uh, she's still you know, it is really, really busy. Um, it's definitely a change of pace for me. As much as I love being home and spending time with her, um, it's very different from being on a construction site to being a full-time at-home mom with a one-year-old. And uh, my husband's working. So like you were saying, staring at walls, I definitely do that as soon as I get quiet time. I just stare at whatever I can. Oh, my gosh. And we're looking at an adorable picture. Of, is it Callie? Is that your daughter's name? Yeah, Callie. Callie and her tutu. Mm -hmm. She looks so gorgeous. So I'm so glad she's part Thank of the scene you. right now because that's like for a lot of people, for most people, the kids are with us at all times. Now I know yeah. that you've been at home, you're self-isolating and, um, and uh, following all the rules as we all are. Uh, are there any yes, home improvement projects that you've been tackling or are you just, you know, you know, doing the mom thing, yes. which is pretty 24 so hours? <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, is it, a, it is a little bit more difficult for me to um, be doing what I used to. So instead of actual uh, DIY projects or construction projects, I'm kind of making my house work to me for, you know, for the rest of our lockdown. So I've been changing our office into kind of a home gym whenever I get the chance to do it, that is. So just little improvements as we can. I'm sorry my kid is eating in everyone's faces. No, this is the best thing. <laughs> have, a, have a cracker in both hands. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's Anything get for distraction. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get to some viewer questions, Sherry. Uh, Ken mm. wrote to us asking this. My wife wants to lighten up our kitchen. Is spray painting the cupboards the way to go and the most cost efficient? Also, what's your opinion on keeping the kitchen island dark and changing the rest to white? Okay. Uh, I'm a huge fan of a light kitchen. I think um, those are pretty dark cabinets. Uh, uh, they're wonderful, but I like a light, bright kitchen. It makes you want to spend more time in it. It's where you're going to be in. You're in the kitchen a lot anyway. Um, so you, I, you can spray your cabinets. Absolutely. It is more cost effective. However, it is um, labor intensive for you. And I wouldn't say that it's... Um, it's a long-term fix. So you have to make sure you sand it down properly and use your right products. But I would, I would say you have to spray them with a sprayer instead of just grabbing a can of spray paint. And a dark island is amazing because you add a little bit of contrast and you're, it's, it's something to talk about. It's a fun little thing in a kitchen. I think that's a great idea. Dave on Instagram says this, the previous owners painted tiles around the bath and shower that are not my style. Do I have to retile the whole thing or can I paint them? Um, so I have actually done that and I spray painted, um, tiles in a shower and on a bathroom floor. Do I recommend it? Uh, <laughs> no, you can, and it does fix it. Um, you have to use a bin primer to make sure everything will adhere properly and make sure you send it down and clean everything. Um, but it will not last. So it works for a little while. Um, and if that's what you're looking for, that's okay. But Again, not a long-term fix. Will that make it quite slippery, though, on the bottom? No, you can get it. It, it is gritty, um, so you're you're fine with that. But it will not last, and it will peel. Okay. Last question for you is uh, an exterior question. Hannah emailed us asking this. I've never liked the siding on my semi-detached house. Do you recommend painting mm -hmm. it a nice gray, or does that look too weird if the other half of the house is still the original color? So we actually um, did a project for uh, one of our shows and um, we did spray um, a semi house and we, they were different colors and that's perfectly fine. I would recommend speaking with your neighbor and seeing if um, it's something that they would want to chip in and you can paint it all together or you find a nice even ground and paint it on your own. It's your own house. Make it your own. Exactly. Well, we appreciate mm -hmm. your time, Sherry and, and Callie as well. She's very well behaved, by the way. Um, you know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's done very well this morning. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you too. Have a great day. You as well. Bye. All right. And Sherry's show, Homes Next Generation, will be broadcasting on CTV Life in June. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.